Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited. I'm going to collab for, for uh, Farmhouse Halloween. And as you can see here, we've got Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Tammy from Rusted Willow, Michelle, I'm sorry, Stephanie from Mama Can Make It, and we have our co-host, Daniela from Dee Dee's Arts Workshop. Um, all of their just, um, YouTube channels will be in the description box along with the playlist. I really hope you guys take time to go in there and check it out, but I'll talk more about that as we go along here, okay? Because we're already into DIY number one. <clears throat> I've been working on um, speeding up my... my uh, DIYs a little bit because some things you just don't need to see as slow as I was going in it. So I'm working on that. So again, give me some time. I'm, I'm playing with it and this one kind of got a little away from me here. And I'm also struggling with, you know, downloading my videos, but I'm getting there. I'm learning and that's all that matters. Okay. So today for DIY number one, we have um, a cute little sign I made from a Dollar Tree Christmas tag for um, witches flying lessons. It's so cute, you guys. I absolutely love how this one turned out. Um, so right now what you see me doing is putting down, I've already painted it white and dried it. Now I'm putting down my stencil because I wanted to um, stencil this one rather than, I don't wanna always put a vinyl on everything because not everybody has a vinyl machine and there's so many things you can do besides using a cutting machine. Um, but I did use the stencil. But, um, so I guess that's not really quite fair. But anyway, so I put the stencil down and then I'm going to go over it with some black paint and then uh, pull the stencil up. See, isn't that cute? Free flying lessons. Um, that's Craftman's black paint. So look at me go there. <laughs> Sped up, huh? You guys don't need to see me paint, right? <laughs> okay, so. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go over the whole thing. I've got it all painted black. And now I'm going to peel off that stencil. I did do it when it was a little bit wet. So it made it bleed some and got some black paint on some of the white. But I'm okay with that because it looks rustic. And I am a farmhouse girl through and through. So I love it. Y'all, this sign is just, I just love it. It's cute. Even if it's not perfection because the beauty is in the perfection and um, so after I do all that, I want to add, you know, some, you know, I want to add something else to it, you know, some embellishments, you know, cause uh, I love embellishments. I can embellish all day long, <laughs> you know, but I try to make some things, you know, not with so much stuff on it, but I do like some embellishments. So I'm about to paint some um, witches hats with the crimson red. And after I do that, I'm also going to add some Dollar Tree Witch's Brooms to hang at the bottom of the sign. You know, because you can't have a flying school without Witch's Brooms, right? <laughs> so, here you go. That's what I'm doing now. I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out really stinking cute. You can see in the background, you can see my son with our family dog. It's really his dog, but I call it our family dog. I call myself grandma to her. This dog is so loved. Look at him back there. Just, I mean, just a hug on her, hugging her, snuggling her, kissing her, because he's getting ready to get up. <laughs> he just, let me tell you, this is Nova's world. We just live in it, okay? Because this dog is spoiled, plum, rotten. <laughs> we are animal lovers in this house, and we just can't get enough of her. She's too stinking cute. She's probably the kindest dog you'll ever lay eyes on. There she is, you guys. Free flying lessons. Okay, so we're already on to DIY number two, which I've already painted white. And um, I'm about to make a Halloween bucket list. And um, you guys, I have to tell you that I pulled this off of a blog months ago and I can't find the paper where I wrote it down. So I'm really upset about that because I, I feel like you should give credit where credit's due. And I can't remember where I got this. And it's so cute. And I'm so upset. So I do have 
a book next to my computer now. So when I pull something off, I can keep it all in that book so I can always give credit. Because the sign is just, or this free printable is so, so cute. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just Mod Podging that down. And then I've sat and fussy cutted all of those out. That's what Kathy Joe <laughs> DIY taught me. Fussy cut. I, you know, went around all those little spots. So now I'm making like the bucket list, you know, by like putting it in a row. Things like um, watch a scary movie. Um, go trick or treating. Wear some Halloween pajamas. Um, I mean, just so much stuff, you guys. It's so, so cute. Um, let's see some of the other ones. Let me see if I can get over here and look at the sign. Um, oh, yeah. Um, make Halloween cookies. Visit a haunted house. Read Halloween books. Um, have a Halloween photo shoot. Decorate for Halloween. And boo your neighbors. But oh, this is probably my favorite in this whole video. I just loved it so much. I feel like it's so farmhouse and so, so cute. I just love it. There's some Dollar Tree stickers. Okay, so while I'm finishing up this DIY, I do wanna go back to the fact that this collaboration is with some of the most talented, kindest, women on YouTube. You guys, you know that I have, um, you know, I've been learning. So I've had a lot of questions. Some of the women in this list has, have been there for me day and night. There are others too that have, but some of the women in this one really are there for me every single day with questions I have. And they're, I mean, all of them, all five of these women are spectacular. Their crafts are amazing. And I really hope that you go check them out. You won't be disappointed. I'm sure that you know, most of you are coming to my channel from one of their channels. So thank you so much for visiting me. I greatly appreciate you. Okay, so we're now on to our final DIY. Okay, so this is that super famous um, Bath and Body Works candle that everyone had been making. I just got the hands not so long ago, so I'm so happy that I can finally make it. But um, I, I see me here. I left this in because I was saying that I was out there spray painting at night. <laughs> I was saying how I have to do it so after work. Day, but it just cracked me up when I see it and fast forwarded. So I wanted you guys to see it. Okay, and that's the next day when it dried. Okay, so I didn't speed this one up as fast because I kind of want to go slow in case anybody wants to make it because this thing turns out so cute, you guys. And it's so, it's a candle holder. It's perfect for Halloween decor. And I'm so happy I got to make it. Those hands I have been looking for forever. <laughs> and I finally found them at Dollar Tree not very long ago. So yes, Dollar Tree Zero Maxine One. <laughs> Okay, so basically you have to buy those, all those pieces, you know, the, the cardboard box, the little cups that go on top, and you spray paint them, you know, between white and black in the hand. And you're just kind of putting it all together here. You take this lace, you're gonna cut out the middle of the lace. Look, you guys, I dropped this hand off of here five times. <laughs> and because I didn't put, um, you know, I was using hot glue. You know, I'm going to go back in and put some E6000 because I really want this to hold for me <laughs> forever because it's just the cutest little thing. And I'm so, and I think this thing was like 40 or 60 bucks at um, Bath and Body Works. Now, is this Bath and Body Works? Absolutely not. It's a DIY, but I don't care. It's mine and it's cute. And I think I paid five dollars to make it. <laughs> Okay, so basically now you're making like, um, what is the word I want to use? Where you're trying to make um, creases in it so that, you know, the lace stands up like it's a cuff, like the bottom of your shirt cuff, you know, that's flared out. And um, yeah, so I'm burning my fingers. I have to go get my little, <laughs> my little silicone thing from Dollar Tree because that glue was hot. Okay, so yeah, so here I am. <laughs> there goes the hand again, you guys. Oh my god, the hand just 
<laughs> oh, I do not want to stay. I'm waiting to see what I do here in a minute while I'm getting this together. Oh, gosh. So funny. So there I am just getting my lace on there. And I looked at, look at my face. Look, I'm just so into it, not realizing I'm on camera looking like crap. <laughs> I'm just like into my little crafting here. Hmm. Oh, so see, I said I'm going to go off a of camera here and, uh, <laughs> and get this on here somehow so that I can finish decorating this. Why this, why this, um, Hand is going to stay on here if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> so I put some paint on it. So that's that Dollar Tree lace ribbon there that I'm putting around the bottom. I'm just kind of decor. I also put it up top around the lace so that lace doesn't look just jagged and unfinished. So, um, and then you just take these, these uh, diamond border stickers, the jewel stickers from Dollar Tree, and you're going to cover all that bottom up just to make it look... Um, I don't know, flashy. The ones I saw, they did it all in gold, and that's probably because the one was made in gold. I did it in pearl and silver. I didn't have the gold stickers, and I was okay with that because it still looks really cute. Let me tell you, that hand stays on for the rest of this video, you guys. I was over it falling off on me. I was over it. <laughs> <laughs> There I am just getting my little stickers on. And again, I want to thank the ladies for letting me join this um, fabulous collab. It feels so good to be able to do one last Halloween um, farmhouse video. I cannot believe that we are almost to the end of October. Where does the time go? The older I get, the faster it goes. <laughs> and oh, it's so scary. It's just, the years are flying by. You guys are flying by. And I've waited till I was 50 to start a YouTube channel, which I'm so grateful for because I love doing this so much. And I have to thank you guys for sticking around with me while I'm learning and going through all my, you know, my learning um, pain, my growing pains. <laughs> so if you've stuck around with me for that, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, you guys, it's almost done and I love it so much. Okay, so we're coming up on the final reveal. I'm so excited about it. Okay, so here's my final reveal. I hope you guys like it. Um, really quickly, I want to say happy birthday to Maddie. You know who you are. Um, you and your mom have been here with me since like, you know, almost a year now watching my videos. Thank you so much. And happy birthday. Okay, there's the candle with the candle on it. Oh, I love it so much. That candle holder is so stinking cute. And then here comes my Halloween bucket list. Okay, you guys, go check out all the ladies in this playlist that's going to be jam-packed full of last-minute Halloween farmhouse decor. Check it out. And ladies, thanks again for letting me join. I so appreciate you. You guys, if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, oh, I would be so grateful. Thank you so much. And you guys all have a great, great weekend.